What's the best way to network as an engineering professional? Regardless of whether you're inside a small or big organization, you need to protect your reputation with your life. This is one of the 48 laws of power, and rightfully so. Your reputation will precede you when you walk into a room or send your resume or are introduced at an event, and you need to protect that with your life. Regardless of the size of your organization, you should not be trying to burn any bridges when you exit, when you move groups, really any time. Especially if you're in a small organization, burning bridges is going to get you such a negative reputation that you might not be in that organization for very long. Because, you know, dropping napalm behind you when you leave an area is not a very friendly thing to do. And you never know when those people are gonna be involved in some decision that's made about you in the future. So maybe you become a boomerang employee. So you leave a group and you come back at some further date. And if you have a negative reputation from a different group inside that organization, you might be blacklisted to where you will not be invited to even come back for an interview. That can be avoided by just not burning those bridges. You wanna be growing your professional network inside of whatever organization you're currently in. When you ask people to do things for you, you need to have gratitude, make sure that you thank this person and you thank them in a way if they've helped you in a pinch, that you thank them in a way that their management can see so they can take some credit for helping you. And if you are acting with high integrity, so you do the things you say you're going to do, so you help someone else out and you do the thing that you say you're gonna do, and they give you gratitude, now look at this, you have a reciprocal person that you can call when you need something. It sounds like you've just added someone to your network. Well done. It can be that simple. And finding people inside your organization so you know who to call when you have problems. I know I've been running a small facility for a number of years, and when I need something from the, the big facility, I know who to call or the person who knows who to call. So this is exactly what I'm talking about here. The network has extended to where Oh, I have a problem with this, cool. That person, boom, there's the name, call that person, they'll sort it out, no problem. I don't have to go chasing my tail or go ask someone to ask someone to ask someone. No, I've met that person or someone in their team and I can reach back and network and it's almost one step now. So I know within one step I can get the information that I need. And that's incredibly powerful. And this is why you see in engineering organizations the people with the biggest and strongest professional networks are the ones that are the top performers because they can get the most done because they know who to call, they're reliable, and the work gets done. The last thing to do is to keep your resume updated. So you never know what's gonna happen. And if you're professionally networking well, you should hear through the grapevine when things are happening to the larger organization, maybe an entire group's gonna get culled. That might be harder to avoid, but if it does happen, and you know it's happening a lot, it's 2024, it's happening quite a bit. Lots of tech layoffs happening. AI is big and scary now. You need to be on LinkedIn or whatever industry specific network you would use to find a new job and just keep your resume updated. It doesn't have to be that hard. And honestly, if you're at a big company, maybe go touch it every year. So when you're doing your performance review, maybe add a line or remove a line or something just to make sure that you're looking at it. Because trying to think about the last 10 or 15 years, because the decades run away from you if you've been in a place for a long time, it'll be very hard for you to retroactively come up with what you were doing 10 years ago. So just keep records and keep your resume updated. It doesn't have to be that hard. I trust you've been paying attention to this social intelligence video thus far. I want to help you pay even better attention to your emotional and social intelligence by clicking the link below this video and scheduling a free call with me. On the call, we'll come up with a personalized plan for you to start getting bigger raises, faster promotions, and stronger relationships with everyone around you. Don't delay, click that link below and schedule a call with me today.